Hi guys, Rich Pacini from RJPacini.com. Coming to you today to do a demo video on the Sony Trinitron television here. Um, I just want to show you a few pictures before I do the actual demo. You know, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to show you from start to finish what it's all about. Talk about this item. You know, <clears throat> the condition of the item. You know, the floors, scratches, dings, dents, whatever it's got in there. If this is first time coming to my YouTube channel, uh, my name is again is Rich Bassini. I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. And this one here is a demo video for this particular TV. So I'm just going to go through. Scroll, I'm going to scroll through some pictures here and show you a little. This way you can see a little better than the video because the video shows. You know the video is good as well, but I always like to show the uh, pictures as well. So you can see here. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what you see lined up here is the picture of the TV itself. I'm just going to go over it. You know, the pictures may look similar, and some are, but I'm just showing you with the uh, handle. It's like this one here has got the handle up position. Close up, the controls. Sorry about the blurriness. That's my fault, not my cameras. This is the side of it. Now, over here, folks, <clears throat> it is missing uh, a door that closes up over here. That's that's why I picked it up. This is pre-owned. And I picked it up like this from, you know, uh, from a thrift store. And uh, I powered it on. It worked. I tested it out. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, this is what you what you see is what you're getting here. It's it's somewhat clean, but I'm going to go over the condition a little bit. I, I can see over here there were all little scratches on it, but I wanted to show you the photos first, and then we'll go into condition. Again, that's with the handle up. Here's the antenna, which is intact. Okay. Now here you got these U uh, VHF UHF and uh, yeah VHF. You got two VHFs, red and the yellow, and then you got a green for the UHF. And these are your tune buttons here. And you got on, off. When you close this here, or when you hit this button, when if it's in the off position, it defaults it to off. Uh, that's why I see it here. Here's the channel clear. I don't know. This looks like it could be a button. I don't know if it's a button or a light. I don't know. I don't want to play around with it. Then you got another button here that says on, off. You got to look at that. Here's your U, color, and brightness here. This is the back of it. Of course, you can see here it says Sony Trinitron Color TV Receiver. KV8100, that's the back of it. Pretty clean condition, not bad, you know, considering. I don't know how old this is. I don't know when it predates. I have to look it up myself, to be honest with you. I don't know if this is a vintage TV or something that's been around. I don't know. I, it might have the date, it just says made in Japan. And let me tell you something, folks. This little thing is heavy. I weighed it up just now on my Accutech scale. It's, uh, close to about, it's close to 20 pounds. If you round it off with the postal serve, it's like 19.6, 19.7 pounds. But you know the postal service, they're going to round it off to 20 pounds. So just round it off to 20 pounds. Um, and unfortunately, folks, I can't offer free shipping on this here. I know some guys do, but they are also, remember one thing, when you're buying from other people, they're also padding that in the price, okay? Remember, shipping for something like this here, uh, you'd be taking a big loss on it. So unfortunately, as much as I would love to offer free shipping, I can't because it is a heavy item. And it's also going to be a challenge getting it out. <laughs> You know, packing it up and stuff. This is going to be some for me. It's going to need some special packaging, but I'll uh, I'll manage. I mean, I've done a lot. I had other things that were a lot more fragile than this, so I'm sure I can get it to you guys in one piece, as I always say, not in pieces. Okay, so here's again some more. This is the side of it, as you can see here. It's it's considered pretty clean. Again, I don't know the era of when this thing dates back, when it was manufactured or not, but that's how it looks. Okay. Again, that's the side view again. You can see you could get a, you know, a little clarity over here as far as the uh, buttons here. I don't know. You know what this reminds of something they use in a studio, TV studio. That's what it looks like. Uh, if this was a portable TV, which it probably was at one point, um, they make nice things. I have to say, one thing at Sony, uh, that's the two favorite products of mine, is uh, Sony and Panasonic. And as far as computer-wise, I like my HPs. I'm an HP guy. But um, that's what we got going on here with this. Again, here's again another picture a little clear. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay. And again, remember, folks, there is a drawer, well, a, a slide, a cabinet, what do you call a slide panel that uh, is not with it, it's not included with this here. And this is from the previous owner, not me, you know. So I just want to keep that in mind. That's the bottom of it. Okay. Now you got a little swing out bar here that, that elevates the, it gives an elevation of it there. So it kind of like tilts it up, whatever. Okay. Uh, right now I have it thing tilted down, but in the demo, I'll show you when it pops up. As you can see there, it pops up like that. Okay. And that's how it looks with the uh, stand, the swing bar stand out. That's how it looks forward. What's the, what the bar there when you look at that forward? That's what you see. 
Sorry for the blurry picture, that's my fault, not the camera's fault. <laughs> and you do get the power cord with it. Okay, and that's how it comes there. That's not a crack, by the way, folks. That's just, uh, I don't know if that's a shadow or something, but it's not a crack. I just want you to know that. Um, you would see right here, if it was cracked, then believe me, I wouldn't, you know, I would let you know. That's not a crack. Um, oh, and we got back there. Well, we go back. Well, that's something else. Okay, so now, now that you've seen the photos, you got an idea with it. Now I want to point it out. Again, even though you see it in the pictures, um, I want to go over the flaws with it. Again, just to, you know, re-enhance what we're talking about here. Okay, I'm going to make the screen big, and I'm going to I'm going to tilt my webcam down. Okay, and here we go. Okay, now, here you see, we got the screen here. I got this. I, I like to do, you know, I like to do live demos, folks, just to let you know. Uh, it gives the potential, you the potential buy as to what you're getting. Uh, so you know right up right up to boot that when you get the item unless it gets run over by a truck or you know, Drastically damaged somehow during shipping this item should get to you if it's working at this location It should work at your location and be it where it's at the your job or it's at the home Whatever it this should be working period. Um, let me just talk a little about the condition of it. It is heavy Okay again now here you do have scratch marks here. Okay and that was pointed out in the pictures. It's going to be in the description as well. You do have scratch marks here, and I can feel it. it's a scratch mark. You know, you can feel a little, a little impregnation in there. That's that's what that is. It's a scratch mark. It's not a not a pencil mark or anything that to take off. So you do have a scuff mark here. Okay. The panel here, slide the side panel is missing. Okay, but nothing is damaged in here. It must have got broken. Maybe it got lost in, in transit. I don't know. You know, I don't know, like I said, this was a pre-owned. This is not my personal TV, so I just want to keep me you and know, make you aware of that there. So if you do get it, <laughs> please don't message me and say, where's the side panel? It's missing a side panel. There is no side panel to give you. If it was, believe me, you'd be on here. Trust me. Um, here again, you got your handle. They make this handle nice and solid. You know, it's plastic. Uh, from what I can see here, it feels like plastic anyway, unless it's a metal. It could be a metal plastic. I don't know. But these bars are definitely metal. It, it's a heavy thing. The unit almost weighs 20 pounds. It's 19.6 pounds, you know. So it is heavy. It's a, it's a well-made unit. I don't know what they're putting in it, light or whatever. But all I know is this thing, this little thing for a little TV, it's heavy. And I'm going to give you the measurements really quick right now. Um, I think I did in my sneak peek videos. But now I'm going to give it to you because this is an eBay listing. So here you go. If you look at it this way, roughly it's about from the front to the back, it's roughly about 12 and a half inches. Okay? From the side length. We'll go to the front here. The width wise here is about 10, it's about 10 inches, right? Well, if you go to the bottom, if you go if you go to the bottom here, it's like a rough rough around eight inches. Now diagonal, if you talk at the TV, I can't really see it like that. I would say the TV screen, you should usually measure them diagonally. I would say it's almost it looks whoops, it almost it almost looks like it's like seven inches. I'm, get, I'm giving a guesstimation, folks, about seven inches, uh, a seven-inch screen. Okay, so keep that in mind. And, <clears throat> and again, I think I told you the height. I think the height. Well, from there, it's about. We talked about that. Well, the height's about eight inches. Okay, so that's what we got going on, folks. Um, as far as the, as far as everything else, um, let me just wrap this up here. Uh, again, we know what the weight is. The weight's like almost twenty, close to twenty pounds. So uh, shipping will not be included with this unfortunately guys i'm sorry I, I wish i could do better for you but there's no way with 20 pounds like this i can't offer you know <clears throat> free shipping and again if the people out there are offering free shipping uh i'm sure that's all included in the price uh i'm up front and honest with you guys uh i don't have a i don't have a price point right now on it um i'm going to do a little research on it i'm going to i'm going to work i'm going to work with variables i'm you know i what i like to do is when i do these um demo videos or before you even list them I like to look at the high price and low price and try to work something in between. Okay, I want to be fair about this here. Uh, I'm not trying to make a killing on it, you know, uh, but I would like to, you know, uh, get something for it. You know, what I'm saying. I mean, I do put the time and effort. It took a lot of cleaning. Uh, I had to clean this thing up. It was pretty dusty. Not not dusty, dusty, but you know, it had to be cleaned up. Um, so I, I did put my effort in there to make sure it looks nice and uh, nice and pretty for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, so without further ado. Now, I noticed, I was looking at one of the pitches, uh, somebody else is selling it, and they say it works. Uh, all I seen was static on there. Now, I don't know, again, over here, this is the button for the, uh, the button, this is the cord or the plug 
for the antenna, okay? So it stays plugged in there for the UHF, I believe it is, right? I think it's the UHF antenna. Uh, it's telescopic, okay? It's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big, it's telescopic. It's, it's, it's big. It comes out, I don't know, uh, if I had a thing here. Well, you know what? Just to give you an idea again, let me go take this out of here, the uh, tape measure. And I'm going to measure from the base to the end of how far, how big the antenna, how, how far it telescopes out, okay? So, we're going from here. It roughly is about almost 43 and a half inches, okay? It expands about 43 and a half inches, all right? So that's what we got going on with that. I'll, I'll wrap this up later. I don't want to take too much time. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we got going on, okay? So 43 and a half inches, it extends, all right? So for now, for all intents and purposes, we're going to keep it back over here. I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to show you what it does. So we did talk about the condition of it. Like I said, it does have like minor scuff marks on the unit itself. You know, I guess this is the, I guess I would say over here again, just to refresh. Uh, this is the part that's probably right here that's got the most scratches along the side here, scuff marks. Everything else seems pretty well intact. The back seems pretty good. No damages, no cracks. Side over here looks pretty good. This side's pretty clean, okay? Um, now, the inside, I think it's in the inside of the glass. I don't know if that's glue. I don't know if there's glue or plastic out here. Um, I tried getting this off of here. It might be adhesive on here. I don't know. I don't want to scratch it. I think, I think, I think this is plastic. So I don't know if this comes off. Feels like it's a little marking out. There's a little marking on the glass itself over here. So just keep that in mind, folks. Um, I could try to clean it up, but it feels like it feels like it's got some kind of residue, or it could be a light scuff mark on here. I don't know. I don't want to play around with it unless it's adhesive from the tape, because they did have it taped up. Um, I tried to clean it the best I could, folks. Get whatever, because they did have tape on it. So you might, if I miss a spot, I'm sorry. I wear reading glasses, so I always have to wear my glass when I'm cleaning. Um, but that's basically it as far as that part goes, as far as the scuff marks. And again, keep over here, there's some scuff marks. I don't know, again, it could be scuff marks or glue marks. I don't know. To me, um, it could be either or, or it could be scuff marks on here. So keep that in mind. Okay, now with that, I'm going to plug it in. Okay, there's two, looks like plug ins here. I don't know, this one here <clears throat> has, I got to use a magnifying glass because it's very dark. In. <clears throat> this one here is the DC in 12 volt. It says 12 volt slash 24 right over here. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is for the uh, UH, VHF UH of antenna. And then it's got a BOD extension, I guess. I don't know what that is. Uh, here is your vertical hold button right here. Sorry for the light. It's going to probably diffuse the picture a little here. And then you got your buttons over here. I don't play around with these here. I don't know if you stick a, a special tool in there. I guess it's the RJB, whatever, RBG, whatever, you know, the colors. Uh, I guess red, blue, and green. I guess that's what that is, right? Yeah, red, blue, and green. I don't know if you adjust the colors. Here, you got a battery, a 24 volt. And it says you use the battery, whatever, pack, and it's got a battery pack. Now, I don't know if this has got an external battery pack. I don't know too much about this unit. Again, this is not mine. So I can only tell you the information I'm pulling off of here and if you do your own research on the internet you could probably get more from me, better than me okay so I have an extension cord over here I keep here I'm gonna plug it in make sure when you plug it in you don't plug it in this one here it's on the top okay make sure it's like that it kinda has a little snap in there there's like a little thing on the thing that's where that snap is All right, it's not that I broke anything I don't even think that okay I'm gonna plug it in again this is live Okay. I guess I had the button on already. See, when you uh, this is the power button. It does work. Okay. Now, again, I can't get I can't get a picture on here, folks. All right. Now, I can't get a picture for two, probably two reasons. One, I have poor. I got a lot of interference right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna extend this antenna out the best I can here. It's got the channel buttons. As you can see, okay, you got channel two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then you got a star one. I guess I know it's the air channels or whatever. Here is your picture that makes it brighter. See? All right. Here's your volume. Okay. And then you got your buttons over here. 
I'm going to move this up here. So I was I was hoping to get a, a picture here, but apparently not. Um, here's those buttons I was talking about here. Uh, when you move them up, okay, too many, not too many. It doesn't really do too much here. Um, again, I don't know what all these buttons represent. You have a button here that says tuner. Now, I don't know if you try to fine tune it. I tried all that. You know, here is the uh, U color and brightness and U and your yeah, color. So if you want, if it's a color, now I can't get it to, again, I can't get this here to play. It's got the vertical hold button here. Um, see, that's the, uh, that's what's going on. You can't see it too good, folks, because, you know, I know it's in a video, but you can see, you can't see it right now, but there's lines going in there. Um, now when you turn this on here, so I hit this button here, look at all the lights that went on, all the lights went on here, okay? And then when you hit that button, when you hit this button, it defaults it and knocks it back down again, all right? So I don't know what all these buttons represent here, okay? Again, this is not my television, so I really can't give you too much information on it. Uh, that's all I can tell you about as far as that part goes, but you can see it does power up, and I wish I can get a, a nice clear picture for you, but I can't. So, um, this is what we got going on here, folks, all right? That's the uh, picture, it's, you know, the uh, brightness right there. And here's your, here's your volume. Well, that's, the, that's not the picture, that's the, that's the picture too. Or, yeah, it's this picture here. That's what that is. But all you get is a lot of stack. But again, I don't know, again, if you try to adjust the horizontal, uh, maybe if you had an extended tenor, uh, you know, that would probably help. But as you can see, again, with all these here, um, I don't know, again, if all this stuff here, I'm trying to move these buttons here. They got You got a tune button here. I guess if you push the buttons in, you could probably tune it into somewhat. I don't know what channel would come in, but for some reason, I can't get it to play. But you can see it does power on, okay? I'm not too familiar on how this stuff works, all right? That's what I was talking about right here. Okay? You can see a little yellow button. Okay, so you see it does power on, it does work as far as that part goes. I just can't get the clarity, I can't get the, uh, the, the picture to come in. So keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind before placing any bids with this here, on this TV here. Um, as you can see, it does power on, and uh, I don't know, like I said, you got all these buttons here. Uh, like I said, you got the VHF button. You got two VHF buttons, a UHF. You got a tuning button to the tune. If somebody's out there who knows how to work with these things here, um, you probably have a better insight on it than I do. Um, the, again, the model of it, uh, it will be in the description, is the KV8100. And it, again, it's a Sony Trinitron Color TV receiver. Okay? And it's got the serial number as well on there. It's got all the original stickers on there. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, I'm going to move this down, This, this, the antenna. The antenna is in good shape, not broken or anything. It's got the tip, not like the uh, radio, but um, that's what you got going on. I'm going to pull the plug on here. So as you can see, and also I just want to show you, it does have the, uh, the uh, bar that comes down, the swing bar, to lift it up. Let me see if you can't see it up there. Okay. It does have the bar to swing it down, up and down. See here? So you move it up like this. It's in a down position, and you lift it up. It's got, the, it's got that position right there. So it does that. It's not a bit. It's, it's not bad overall. I just can't get the picture to come in. I don't know if I had a better antenna to hook up out there to make it work. But I tell you one thing: this little guy is heavy. I mean, it is a heavy little TV. I mean, I don't know what they put in there. I don't know if it's got. I don't know if it's got solid state. You know, if it's got tubes in there or not, I don't know. I'm not going to take it apart and mess with it. I don't, I'm not an electronic engineer or tech, a technician, so I'm not going to play with this thing. You know, if you are, on the other hand, are, that's fine. <clears throat> um, this is not being sold for parts not working. This is, this is, I'm selling this as a working item, so please keep that in mind. If for some reason you don't want the item, please send it back to me the way it was packaged, the way it was shipped to you. Okay, um, that's all I can tell you, folks, um, about this TV. If there's any questions on it, you can message me on an eBay messaging system. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. Again, 
I don't know what else to tell you about it. Just gonna push this thing down. It's side of it's side of the uh, little flaws it has on, as far as the scuff marks, a little scratch mark, whatever here. The overall condition. It's got the handle you carry it with you. Although I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't carry this thing around. If this, even if you took this like on a beach or something, whatever. I mean, it's heavy to carry around. I mean, I wouldn't want to stuff this thing around. It's it's kind of heavy. Um, this the, the construction of it is all plastic, by the way. Just to let you know, just give you a case, case people wonder because you know, some people might wonder. I had one guy ask us, uh, I was selling something, is it metal? And I said, no, it's not metal. This here for me, uh, the way I see it, is all plastic. Um, the again, this plastic piece over here, folks, it, it has, I, I guess, these are scratch marks on here. I don't know, I don't want to try messing around with it because uh, it's over here. I think I showed you before, <clears throat> it's along here. Okay, it could be, it could be, I don't know if it's adhesive or not, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I'll try cleaning it up, but uh, as of now, they have, these are scuff marks here. I mean, I could take a, a little rag I have here with alcohol on it and just to see if it'll come off. It ain't going to hurt it, folks, just to let you know, but I doubt very much that's what that is in there. If it, if it is adhesive, yeah, because they did have tape on it, but see, I'm rubbing it right now, and I don't think it is um I'm rubbing it with alcohol, folks. This is alcohol, and uh, it doesn't seem to be coming off. So yeah, these. So all right. So just keep in here. Keep in mind, right over here, folks. Okay, right over here, there are scuff marks. I don't know if that's one too. My hands are all over this thing, so um, could be a little marking over here as well. All right, but just keep that in mind, though. Over here, you got a scuff mark on that plastic part. This is plastic. Okay, this is plastic. That might mind you, the tube ain't scratched, it's in here. As you can see, it's on here. Uh, well, looking at it now, close up here, you got one. Keep this in mind, you got one over here, two, and three over here. Okay, but as you can see, when you turn it on, well, I pull the plug. When you turn it on, it doesn't interfere with it, really. You know, depends how much things bother you, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's basically it, guys. You got any questions on this here? Please email me at uh, not email, message me on the eBay messaging system, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video, guys. Um, that's basically it. And again, that was for this unit right here. Uh, you can see right over here, folks. Uh, before I hang, before I get let go, you can see right over here. This is what I was talking about. And there's one over here. You can't really see it too good, but there you got one over here, and one over here, and there is one in that area right there. Okay. But again, and this ain't a crack here. Uh, you could look at it right here. That's uh, actually that. What is that there? I don't know. That's that's not a crack though. I can tell you that much. It's I would it, I would notice it was cracked, but that was cracked. Believe me, you would know it. <clears throat> um, I don't know what this exactly is. It's showing up in the camera, but when you look at it in front, um, it doesn't seem to be anything of concern. Uh, let's see over here now. Let me get a better picture. Get one that's because the, the contrast in here is a little off. Yeah, see, you can see these things over here, the marks. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's the picture tube itself. Um, again, you know, showing you in it, well, you, like I said, you really couldn't see too much when it was powered on. But um, let me see here. Yeah, see, now this is like a close up of it. See, I don't know if that's just a shadow from when I took the picture. It looks like it. It'll look over here, it looks like there's a shadow here. Okay. See, had like that same mark in the bottom here, but yeah, this is this is not this is not like that there. Looking at it close up, it's not like that. It could be the angle the way I, you know I, I I try to shoot it in the daytime to uh, you know so you get better pictures on it. All right, but that's that's you, you don't see that there. It's only in the photo. <laughs> all right, folks. But anyway, uh, that's what we're talking about here. The Sony Trinitron Television. You got any questions? Like I said, please don't hesitate to uh, message me, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. I will see you in the next video. Thanks again, guys. And if you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you got anything out of this video, give it a, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you in the next video. Bye now.